Welcome to this episode of Virtual Assistants. My name is Steven, and this video is brought to you by the folks over at Wondershare. Wondershare is the same company that makes the Filmora video editor, and they approached me and asked me if I could review their screen recording software called Demo Creator. Now, Demo Creator, as I found, is great for anybody who's looking to record their screen for maybe a software demonstration or to record their uh, slide presentation. I'm going to show you while giving my Google Slides presentation how easy it is to use Wondershare Demo Creator to record, edit, export, and share your creation with the world. So let's get into it. Now the first time you use Demo Creator, you're going to see this screen here. And since we haven't started any projects yet, we want to hit the new recording button. There's a few toolbars that come up. This box down here is where we're going to set the properties for our recording and then finally hit the record button. We're going to turn off the integrated camera. It's showing my webcam, but I don't have one hooked up right now, so we're going to click that box. And then we're going to turn the integrated camera off by selecting the webcam down here. Then we also see this toolbar at the top. Now we can use these tools during our presentation. Things like highlight, cursor spotlight, drawing tools, shapes, lines, etc. When we're ready to record our presentation, we're going to go ahead and click this red button down here. Demo Creator is going to count down, and then once it hits zero, anything that's on our screen is being recorded. I'm going to move this toolbar over to the other screen. Now in my Google Slides, I'm going to hit the present button in the upper right corner and begin my presentation. So I'd say something like, welcome to my presentation on Google Slides, how to add voiceover. We're going to click to advance to the next slide. And I would continue on with my presentation. Once I get to a slide where I actually want to start highlighting and drawing attention to certain text on the screen, I'm going to go ahead and use the demo creator tools up at the top. In this case, the highlight tool. I'm going to click highlight select the largest point at 16 points and keep the yellow. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight exactly what I'm talking about on my screen so that when I give that part of the presentation people's eyes are drawn to that part of the presentation. Another way that you can draw attention to certain parts of your presentation with Demo Creator is by using the Spotlight tool. Now the Cursor Spotlight tool is cool because once I click on the screen after selecting it anything that's underneath the cursor actually gets put into a spotlight. So again, I can use the spotlight to highlight any part of the screen that I want to draw attention to. Once I'm done presenting a certain slide and I want to get rid of all the drawings, I simply click this brush tool and the drawings go away. In order to advance to the next slide, I need to actually hit my cursor button first, and then I can go ahead and click to advance. Now on this slide, I want to draw attention to a crucial point that I make up top. So I'm going to actually use this line tool here and I'm going to throw a highlight under this Save Files text. Again, emphasizing certain points that I want the viewers to pay attention to. I'll also use this button here, we'll select green, to again draw a box around the information on my slides that I want people to focus on. I'll click the brush icon again to erase my slides, use the cursor, then click on my slide to advance. Again, as I see fit, I'm going to use these tools up at the top to draw attention to certain parts of my presentation. And I'll go through and I'll do that for the rest of my slides. Once I've finished my presentation, I'm going to bring that toolbar back on the screen that we saw earlier, and I'm going to click this red stop button. This is going to stop all the recording on the screen and bring my footage into the video editor. I'm going to fast forward through this part because this could take a while depending on how long you were actually recording. Once the video editor loads, I'm going to chop the heads and tails off of my footage. I don't want to show any of the setup, I just want to show my presentation in the final video file. I'm going to use this yellow line here to scrub my video and get to the point where I start to give my presentation and all the tools are off of the screen. So right there. I'm going to highlight both of my clips down in the timeline and then click this splice button right here. Then highlight those two clips here and hit delete. I'm going to do the same thing to the end of my presentation. I'm going to zoom out on my presentation by adjusting this node here, and then highlighting both of these files down on the timeline and moving them over to the left. Now I'm going to add an intro to my video, and Demo Creator has a bunch of built-in templates that you can use to customize the look and feel and get it just how you want it. 
On the menu pane on the left hand side, I'm going to click this button here for captions. I'm going to go ahead and drag the opener six down onto my timeline. I'm going to drag this yellow bar over to the front of my video and zoom in. All the properties for the title are on the right hand side of the screen. So I'm going to put my cursor in this text box right here, delete the preloaded text, and then add my own text in its place. I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom title. I can even adjust the color of the text. I'm going to move the yellow bar to the front of my video and then click play to preview the title. Pretty cool. So this is looking pretty good up to now, but what I want to do next is to fade out my title while my video is fading in. I'm going to adjust the position of my video so that it's underneath my title. And I'm going to click on the transitions menu on the left hand side. I'm going to drag the dissolve effect onto my title and onto my video. I'm going to adjust this playhead to the beginning and then click play to preview. Awesome. I'm going to do the same thing to the end of the video to give it a uniform fade in and fade out. Bring my playhead over here, hit the space bar to play preview. That looks great. So those are some basic things that I could add to my video. Now, if I really want to draw attention to a particular part of my slides, there's a cool tool in Demo Creator that I want to show you. It's called the Pan and Zoom. If we click on the Video Effects menu, we can see the Pan and Zoom tool. What this tool does is allow you to zoom in to particular parts of your presentation to, again, draw really focused attention to that and tell your audience, hey, this is what I'm talking about, look here. I'm going to move my yellow playhead to a position in my presentation that I want to add the zoom. Let's say I want to draw attention to the recording app section when I'm talking about the recording apps. I'm going to drag this pan and zoom onto my video. And I'm going to double click this end node here. And if we can't see it, we're going to zoom in real quick. Bring in my... And we're going to double click right here on this node. Now these are the adjustable parts of the pan and zoom tool. We can see this purple box on the outside, which is our start position for our pan and zoom. And this green box here is the ending position. When I click inside the ending position box, I can then adjust the box to where I want to zoom in on my presentation. So I'm going to move the box here, tighten it up a little bit. Click OK. Move the playhead back here and hit the play button. So that zooms in on the recording app section so that anybody who's viewing my presentation knows that this is the section I'm talking about. Really great. I'm going to do the same thing with the pan and zoom tool in order to fade out and see the rest of my presentation. Double click that end node, click in the ending box, and then readjust the shape so that it's the width of the entire screen. I'm going to click OK, bring my playhead back and hit play, and my presentation zooms back out. You want to use the pan and zoom tool relatively lightly. You don't want to be in and out of your presentation or else your viewers might get motion sickness. The last tool I want to show you are these cursor tools. So I'm going to actually adjust my cursor to a point where I click on the screen right when I'm selecting the highlight tool. And I'm going to select the cursor effects here and I'm going to drag click rings onto my video. Now we'll notice anytime I click on my screen that there's a set of rings that appear. And again, this is great for letting people know you want to click this button, take this action, etc. I'm going to adjust my playhead back a little bit, hit the play button. And we see that when I click the cursor, there's a set of rings that appear around the cursor. So if I were you making a presentation, I would mess around with all the effects. I would see which ones work for you in order for you to give your information better and help your audience stay engaged and to retain that information more and more. 
Once you're done, you want to go ahead and click the export button up here at the top. The default settings should be OK. You want to make sure that format is MP4. You can name your project here. And then click the export button. Now the export could take a while again, depending on how long your video is, how many effects you use, etc, etc. Once the video is finished rendering, you can click the open folder button. Then double click the video file to preview. That's all there is to it. I'd recommend Demo Creator if you're looking to create tutorial videos or a video of your Google Slides presentation. It's very easy to use and it comes pre-built with a lot of templates that you can customize to get the look and feel of the video just as you want it. If you want to try out Demo Creator, go ahead and click the link in the description below for a 14-day fully functional trial. And check out Wondershare's YouTube channel for more advanced tutorials on Demo Creator. If you have any questions of what you saw in this video, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. And if you want to keep creating, go ahead and check out any of the videos on the screen right now. That's all for this video. My name is Steven and this has been Virtual Assistance.